Hello, I am Oli with you again. We're cooking today Ukrainian traditional drink. It's called Uzvar. And as a fact about this drink, it was a goodbye drink. It was given to the guests, saying them, hey, go back home. <laughs> it's enough to hang out. Um, what in Russia now they use tea. And in America, there's not such a tradition. You never know how to say, Guess goodbye, see you later. It's a Christmas drink made from dry fruits. This is what we're gonna use for it. Uh, it's a dried apples, what was picked up from the garden. My grandparents planted and my parents grown and then dried, hand dried. Then we need a little bit of apricot and I use organic. Okay. We need half of lemon for the lemon peel and cloves, tiny amount. In the recipe also they say sugar, but I'm doing it sugarless. We take the dried fruit, we put them separately and pour cold water over it and leave out overnight. Then we take a lemon, we peel it, we add a little bit of cloves and add more water and cook it in the nice looking bucket until the fruit is ready. This is the way to make a lemon peel. I add fruit to the fruit, add lemon, and about that much cloves. And then add more water and boil it. Then cool off and drink over ice or warm, whatever you want to. I want to tell you a little bit of history of this drink, Uzvar. So it is traditional Ukrainian drink, which used to have a ritual meaning in Alesia. It's a territory of Ukraine and uh, Central Europe, uh, part of land which belongs now to Poland, Belarus and Ukraine. In that region, uh, in old times, Ukrainians would uh, give this drink to uh, a woman who just gave a birth and it has a ritual meaning. So now when it's all getting to boil, we're gonna put it in a slow, slow cooking mode and wait until the food is ready, or probably like 15 minutes. When the water is ready, we pour it over ice and drink it, making a toast. На здоров'я, which means to your health. Ukrainians say смачного. Bon appetit!